Hey, Kids Jam. It's me, Mr. Rob. Last week, we talked about a miracle that Jesus performed. He healed the legs of a man and let him walk again. This miracle showed the people that Jesus had power through God to forgive sins and heal a broken body. Remember, a miracle is something surprising that wouldn't normally happen, but the power of God works to make it happen. This week, we're going to talk about another miracle of Jesus, one that starts off sad but ends very happy. We're going to call this story, Time to Get Up. Jesus was very busy traveling around the land and teaching everywhere he went. News of his healing powers had spread, and many sick people came to him or were brought to him and were healed. One day, the leader of the synagogue came to Jesus while he was teaching in the middle of a large crowd. It fell down at Jesus' feet and begged, My daughter is very sick and is dying. I know that if you lay your hands on her, she will be well again. Please help her. Jesus agreed, and he went with three of his disciples and followed the man to his house. But just as they arrived at the house, someone came from inside and told them that the little girl had already died. The man began to cry, and Jesus said, Don't be afraid. Just believe, and she will be healed. Jesus, the disciples, and the girl's parents went into the house while everyone else stayed outside and cried loudly because the little girl had died. As he went inside, he told the crying people, Stop crying. She's not dead. She's just asleep. That really confused all the crying people because they knew that she was dead. Jesus went to the bed where the little girl was lying and held her hand. He said to her, Stand up, little girl. And she did. She got up out of bed and started walking and running all around the room. Jesus then said, She must be hungry, and they brought her some food to eat. Jesus showed the power he had through God in many different ways in his miracles. When people saw these amazing things happen, they believed that Jesus was indeed the Son of God, and they followed him in his teaching. These miracles led some people to believe that Jesus was the Messiah or Savior, who would unite the tribes of Israel and lead the world into peace. Other people thought the stories were all lies and were afraid that Jesus was going to try to take power from the leaders of the temple and the government. Jesus knew that there would be consequences for his actions at some point, but until then, he continued to travel the land and teach and perform miracles and help to spread his message of love to as many people as he could. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for Jesus and the miracles you helped him perform. Thank you for using those miracles to show us your power through Jesus. In your name we pray, amen. And don't forget, if you haven't already done it, be sure to download the Bible app for kids on your phone or tablet so you can follow along with our stories at home and find more games and activities for each lesson that you can do with your family. Have a great week, Kids Jam. We'll see you next time.